All right, guys. I've never seen this problem before. So I am underneath a physical therapy table. You see, I have a hydraulic reservoir up here. There's the pump. And it's got these hydraulic lines. And they'll run to pistons like this guy right here. So each leg is a piston. And I've got one piston that is not moving. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip some of the hydraulic lines around and hopefully migrate the problem from one piston to another. And if we can migrate the problem, then we know that it's in fact a clogged port inside the hydraulic uh, actuator here. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what I'm looking at. All right, so here's a hydraulic pump. This is basically a piston and it just squeezes down and technically each one of these ports right here should have an equal amount of pressure and it should be an astronomical amount of pressure based on the diameter of the supposed push piston. So you can see right here that they, they all come out and there's plenty of extra line and they run down and that's the problem child right there. So there is a high low switch down at the other end it activates and when it activates these guys should go up and down. Hey Mike, can you go ahead and hit the up and down, please? Okay, you can see it's going up very slowly. Okay, and back down. Tell you what, let's take it all the way down. Because when I undo these hydraulic lines, yep. it would come crashing down on me. Okay, so hydraulics, just to let you guys know, to be safe, what we were gonna do is lower it all the way down because when you take this off, there's no longer, there's no, there's no check valve or anything. So fluid is going to go everywhere, all over me. It's going to be fantastic. But it's also a safety precaution because when hydraulics no longer have their, their control mechanism, the fluid just freely escapes the cylinder, especially since it's under load, it's, it's weighted. Since it's under load, it could be very dangerous. So lower it all the way down. Same thing with uh, surgical tables. We lower it all the way down. Uh, and now we're ready. We're gonna switch these two around. This one and this one. Flip them around and then we're gonna test it out and see if it changes the symptoms. Hopefully it does. Okay, the lines have been switched. So let's go ahead and see the results. So that was the problem child. It was not going up and down and I switched it with this one right here. So let's see what goes on. Uh, it's going up over there, isn't it? What about this one? It's not moving. Okay. So, since I switched those two ports, that means one port is clogged for whatever reason. Uh, there's probably a little uh, reed valve and or solenoid because it has to activate the solenoid one direction or the other. So something is not right on that one channel and it moved the problem from this leg to this leg over here. So the problem is indeed inside the cylinder. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this up on its side so that the oil stays in the cylinder because since the ports are at this end, we're gonna flip it up so that we can disconnect all of these down here without getting oil all over the place. And uh, we're gonna swap that guy out and see how it goes. So this, right. This is the underside of the table. We flipped it up on its side because these here are your ports. You want to keep the oil down inside the cylinder. So that's why we, the whole table's flipped up. So we already proved that the legs are fine. It's actually one of the chambers in here. Probably a little uh, bypass uh, check valve or something is bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these lines over to this one while it's still attached. That way there we have minimal oil loss and minimal, minimal air getting into the system because this is hydraulic. So we're gonna move them over one by one really quickly. That way there we're not leaking all over the place and then we'll unbolt it, bolt this one up. Bob's your uncle, we're good to go. So we got everything swapped out and we're ready to do our initial test. Let's see if all of our legs are currently running. So, okay, here's the switch. It's going down. Going up. Going up. Going up. Let's go ahead and lower it all the way down. So guys, whenever you're dealing with hydraulics, go all the way up and all the way down. 
several times because remember there is going to be air in the system and more importantly we want to check and verify that none of our connections are leaking so one of the other things i want to show you guys is there is a power cord and you can see how it plugs into the motor controller at the end of the motor and then it goes to the wall well that is just a molex type connector so you can see what I did is there is one hard wire right here that comes from here to the motor and since it's a hardwired connection it's gonna be the most stable and I zip tied the power cord and also this right here is the activation button they're all zip tied together so that nothing is pulling on those ports so even if the power cord gets yanked or tripped on it's going to pull on this guy instead of on the motor that's the most important piece that's prevention 101 so anyway guys everything's going we're working now i'm on to my next work order good stuff